Hello and welcome to another video come the OCI GCSE computing course. Today we're looking at the 14th topic in the specification which is sort of an introduction to the next couple of videos which are a very very important actual chapter. Um, so we're sort of introducing it today in uh, a video called database concepts. So some important information here in what should be quite a short video. Um, let's first define what a database is. So a database is simply a persistent organized store of data. I've copied that exactly from a specification. And in case you don't know what persistent is, it's not an English lesson, it doesn't matter. Persistent just means it's constant and it's continuing over a period of time. So the point is that a database isn't temporary. It doesn't like, for example, data stored on RAM. It doesn't go when it's turned off. The database is there for more than a short amount of time it's there for a sustained amount of time so it's also important to realize that a database doesn't have to be computerized it can be handwritten it can be non-digital um, the perception is the perception I would probably have if I hadn't done this course is that a database is something just on a computer obviously it wasn't always like that before computers but even still there are some examples of non-digital databases such as a telephone directory such as in England we get yellow pages or this happened when I was at primary school we'd have a written school register which doesn't seem to happen anymore because computers it makes it far easier especially with large schools a written school register isn't needed anymore um, but you may have to compare non-digital and digital databases that would be quite a good exam question. If I was an examiner, that's the sort of question I'd put in. So it requires you to think, but you don't necessarily need to know about it. Um, but just a few ideas that I came up with. Non-digital database is generally quite quick, cheap, and easy to create. Um, but if you want to create a digital database, you may have to buy a specialist software for this. So they are quite expensive to buy generally because they um, are proprietary software. There is one example I can think of called my SQL but it's open source software and um, we looked at software in a previous video um, but they can be quite expensive to buy and you may need specialist training because they are quite complex um, one example of this is Microsoft Access which I'll show you in a minute because I used to have it on my computer it's quite expensive um, as you can see and it only comes with so 90, 99 or 100 pounds is just for this program you don't get any other programs with it so it is quite expensive um, and it's an example of a database management system, which stands for, uh, sorry, which is shortened to DBMS, and that's the next video. And what this does, if I hop into it now, um, what it does, it allows you to create, edit, and maintain a database. So here's just an example. Um, this file actually came with Microsoft Access stored on my computer. Um, I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of restaurant. And it's, this is a really uh, well-built one, obviously, because it's their example. And you can do things like, um, I had a bit of a fit around with it. You can, in this example, you can restock re, uh, uh, food. You can look at your order history. And if you wanted to, if you knew how to use it properly, um, you could get data from it and add data to it. So that's just I thought I might as well show you, seeing as I have it on my computer. Um, so finally, to end this video, um, what did I say? So a database management system allows you to create, maintain, and interrogate a database. And interrogate might seem a bit of a funny word, um, but when we talk about databases, interrogate means to extract information from it, meaning you ask it to do something and it gives you some information back. And that's it for today's video, nice and short. Uh, the next few videos are essential to this course and this, uh, they sort of lead on from this. And so hopefully I'll see you there. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching.